see it here. There is no one who's ready like my child. Ra, 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 ra. He's the most I can start it already. Lord yeah, 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 yeah. and Savior, I deliver I from all traps of danger. Ra, ra, ra. Yo, you that them say there is say. no one. Pull up. Who's part it there? See it there? Don't kill no more. Don't kill no more. Tired for see dead body lay down upon the floor. Greetings. For your device, you see the image. You don't know, sir. You unique one scene. Yeah, man. I represent for Sita Entertainment. Maddest Entertainment Worldwide. Global. You understand? You can check out Sita Entertainment on Facebook. Check them out on YouTube. You can also follow them on Instagram. You understand what I say? Yeah, man. Sita Entertainment is your entertainment live. Scene. If you haven't already done so, Follow us on Instagram. Remember to give this video a like. To be a part of the CETA squad, subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you will get our latest video updates. And the Grammy goes to... Soja. CETA! Jamaican's Yard and Abroad is not quite happy. The group Soja has won Best Reggae Album for their album Beauty in the Silence. The whole Grammy give them 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 money a reggae album of the year. Over who? Over who? Eh? Inspire your mother. All right, your bumbo wool. Hey, sorry for the bad word. I mean, no, something really cost, but things like this get me angry. And some man are gonna say, "Oh, but Yadi, you're, you're white. What's the difference? What's the difference? Me from there. That's the difference. Them not come from there. Them man they drink one red stripe beer and sing to one love song and next week them a win Grammy. You know how much work the artist them in a Jamaica put in a them album all the while for the whole of them life and get nominated to come see them foolishness. So, hey, Grammy better fix up, man. You know what? Furthermore, they even have no more reggae, reggae album. As a matter of fact, just, just forget about Jamaica because I love use Jamaica culture for every little thing, you know. You see, to come make them, yo, you give back the Grammy. Give out the Grammy. If you don't really respect and, 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 and rate the culture, you should go up there and say, no. You, as a matter of fact, you shouldn't even be there. You shouldn't even be in the category. Why the soldier even there in a blood clot reggae category? What? I don't to find one category around on, around on the side. So I don't throw them over our side. And then give them it. And then make we look like rap. We don't we no want to know Grammy. Because first thing, Grammy never did give with the Grammy where the world can see where I get the Grammy in the first place. As me say, on a treat we like one little girl, we are take some one man and the man no squeeze her a little chumps around the corner and don't make nobody know. I saw on a deal with we. So uh soldier drop in our thing. And then big Grammys come go like them things say we don't know where you do. You have so much Jamaicans. You know what this coming like? I've seen this so many times you know. I'm telling you, know, when it come on to my culture, if you want to call me racist, prejudice, you can call me all kind of this, you want this, you know. Me, I tell you, say, me not stand for. I see him, so when me talk one time, some people say, me this Radigan, I'm this mighty crown. After me tell them the truth, say, these don't have to do as hard as we have to do, and they don't know we music like we. All them have to do is just study like 3% of our music and present it back. I know no swear to them bad. Remember me and Squinji, rest in peace. And me and Squinji, make on know say, the Japanese blood clot bleed when they play chop them, you know. And me, make on know say, Radigan bleed when him get chop, you know. When me chop him in him ras, figuratively speaking, chop him in him ras, don't appear one, you know. And make on know say, who not come tell me about this white man, we come tell me about, um, it was in the year of 19, right? you can't teach me where in my DNA. Never. You cannot teach me what is in my DNA. And that's why Mataran make a difference. Nothing no wrong with another culture love of music. But uno always a go on like say, we not do the music good. So at that, Grammys come do now, make it look like Spice never do the album good. Grams never do the album good. Jesse Ryle never do the album good. But blood clot, some look nappied people named Soja. Where well, we don't know from nowhere. Nobody from Jamaica can even know the guy them. Who the is one claim to fame only the only part of Bob Marley 
On the par with Jacob Miller. On the par with Dennis Brown. On the no Greg Isaac. On the no Ken Booth or any one of them. They all the blood clot. Don't forget. Um, Grammy for reggae. With so much prolific reggae acts in the compet competition. Big up to all the contestants that have entered into the Grammy. Grants Morgan, Itana, Spice, I think, um, Jesse Royal, I don't remember. That was a part of the Grammy. All of you guys have created history. All of you guys have got an opportunity to be on that big stage or even to get mentioned in a thing called the Grammy. A lot of people would like to be here, so whether you get it or not, you're still a winner, same way, because you still achieve. You still put in the work in order for you to get there. So some of you may be disappointed. Um, some of you may be disappointed um, in it. Big up to Spice. Big up to Grant Morgan. Big up to Itana. I think Jesse Ryan. Everyone of you, as I said, you guys did a good job and put in the work. If you don't get it this time, you will get it the next time. Keep trying. Keep down, going down that road. That to show you that you are producing quality music. And as a producer, as I am a producer in the business that produce quite a few songs. That some of you don't know. I produce quite a few songs. More than 20 songs that I've produced. Some big songs. Right? That I'm responsible for those songs. I would love to get that opportunity one day to be in the Grammy League, you know, I'm producing artists and managing artists. Goes by the name of Nigel Boy. Good pirates, yes, they rabbi. But in all of that, um, we have a lot of issues as Jamaican, as producers, and as fans out here that also cause a problem to artists. Now, a lot of you people don't want to split MJ, what's up there? A lot of you don't want to split justice. I am not saying I'm a peacemaker, I'm all that perfect and whatever it is. But you have to split justice and understand what it is to be music. We understand that racism plays a role in a lot of things, but it's not everything racism plays a role in. Because everybody on that stage, if they were thinking the same thing that a lot of you are thinking, because you guys are small-minded and don't understand the business and will never understand the business, and it's okay not to understand the business because that means that you're not investing the time to look into the business. Soldier Boy, we have to give a big congratulation to Soldier Boy. Them. They have been working over the years. And one thing I can say, they have capitalized and managed to make it on the big screen, on the big platform of a culture that have been created by artists and our culture over the years. But that to show you that reggae artists are too comfortable within their self. They have to work harder. Because all the albums that was nominated for the Grammy, every one of those artists work hard. And people are using the word to say that, how comes, everybody is saying that, how comes a non-Jamaicans can win a reggae album? That is actually a illiterate and a dumb, stupid question and a statement. How can a person that are not Jamaican, that are not Jamaican descent or whatever it is, win a Grammy? Yes, they can win a Grammy. They can win a Grammy. Reggae music does not set for only people that born in a Jamaica. Reggae music is set for everyone that get the opportunity and can sing it, produce it, and put out good work. Right? Now, Soldier Boy, I've been listening to Soldier Boy them for a very long time. And it's a very good, I would say they're very good at what they do. They manage to craft the music so good and the quality. They spend the time. They stay out of certain kind of passa passa and certain kind of things. So, their music is good. Now, Grand's Morgan is one of my artists. I always write, write Grand's Morgan music. I always like his music. There's no doubt about it. And not because I'm a friend with Grand's Morgan. Grand's Morgan produced some good music. 
great, 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 great music. But I am pretty sure that 80% of you people that was sitting there was not, not campaigning for Grant Morgan or Itana or I think just Royal. You guys was campaigning for Spice. You guys are campaigning for who you like, not what the music is. You understand? And we see that the reggae have go to someone else. But we are human beings. But at the end of the day, people, we cannot get up and say that it's racism. They give it to the white boys. Right? It has nothing to do with white boys. It has to do with good music. I am pretty sure that if you're supposed to flip the script, Grant Morgan and Soldier Boy them would have been the lead one in it. It is good that Spice have entered into the big ring and get the opportunity. It doesn't mean that Spice was going to win a Grammy. Grant's Morgan album is good. But it comes back around again. A lot of you are saying all of this thing now, now it's over. How much of you have purchased a Grant's Morgan album? You never purchase it. You never share it. You never get involved in it. He's not your artist. He doesn't sing your kind of music. So you never supported him. Whether or not you have sent in a word or if there was a vote or whatever, I'm just using word. The fact of the matter that your spirit and your time, you have not contributed enough to your own regular artists. A lot of you that are on the net talking about and saying that you cannot believe that Soldier Boy them win. You guys actually glad that they win because you guys support them. In order for other generation to break within our music, it comes from a lot of support across the board. When you look at artists like Gentleman, Gentleman is a very good reggae artist. He didn't born in Jamaica. He, ne he never born in Jamaica. But he's a good artist. How many artists in Jamaica are good artists and you guys don't support them? The Grammy was made for everyone who have what it takes and have the quality music. So I will not get up and say, boy, I'm so disappointed in the Grammy. Because one of our own Jamaica not get a bird paper did not get it. It could have been anybody. It could have been a Trinidadian artist. It could have been a Guyanese artist. It could have been an African artist. It could have been an American artist who sing reggae and sing reggae good. Win Grammy. We have to look into it. You have a group named Nine, Nine Tomorrow. A white group. That was touring with Barissa Man. That group is so good. Everything about that group is right and point. And I like the group. Would I go and support the group? Yes, I would support the group. I love to listen to Jenkerman. I love to listen to um, Soldier Boy. Them. I listen to different kind of music. But it doesn't mean that because I like Barris. Or because I like... That one, I like that one, means that they don't win a Grammy, I'm going to get mad about it. I'm not going to get mad about it. It's not everything. Look at Tess and Chin. Tess and Chin win, win what, The Voice? You guys don't support her anymore. Though she's a Jamaican. Dalton win The Voice. You guys support him? No, you guys don't support him. Not at all. Right? Reggae is across the board, and the fact that it's across the board, anyone can come in. When you look at all the, the, the reggae songs that are on the billboard these days, it's not the regular artists that want to know, because the guys are small-minded. It's always a white group or somebody else from a different country who, who decides that they're going to sing reggae and manage to craft it so good that they sing reggae. There's a lot of white groupies on the billboard. A lot of reggae songs, when you hear these reggae songs, you're like, whoa, that's a white boy? Whoa, that's, that's an African? Whoa, this one? It. You guys don't support your own reggae artist, so why even come out and create a big stink about this boy when you're disappointed? Yes, we all would like to see Grant's Morgan. Grant's have won Grammy. He have won Grammy before. More than one Grammy. Spice never won a Grammy. I never see Tana win Grammy before. I think Tana was nominated before. And then here comes the people them again now. Well, Spice must move and go because Spice too bright for Tabo Shagga win Grammy. 
You hear the word? Spice just move and go because spice too bright and too enough for you to talk about winning Grammy. But if today they'd come out and say spice win a Grammy, everybody would be happy. If Grams Morgan did win a Grammy, no phone would be happy. If Itana did win a Grammy, no phone would be happy. If, if um, when you, Jesse Ryan did win a, a Grammy, Uno would, uno would him support him because most of you don't listen to Jesse Ryan. I listen to Jesse Ryan. When I'm biggest song, run them out of your yard. Them a bop bite ya. Hypocritical two side. That's one of my favorite Jesse Ryan songs. No fun of don't have a Jesse Ryan as a ringtone and don't have a Jesse Ryan in on a playlist. No fun of don't have a Grant Morgan in on a playlist. No fun of don't have a, a um, Itana in on a playlist. First of all, this is how you guys be hypocritical. Uno only go with the floor for artists when he's relevant in front of uno. If Grant Morgan sing a song, the pan song where Grant Morgan sing, um, um, the Lord is my shepherd. How many songs Grant Morgan have sing? And the song was good in front of uno while you guys was in the buzz and following the hype. Then next week you hear, say, Grant Morgan sang, why I all sang that? He kind of sing, Oh, I am not afraid, no. If them are come, let them come, because I protect the body more. I don't want to hear that again. He kind of do that song a long time, it all. Just a riot, same thing, song, same thing. Well, I want to hear just a riot again. Tell me, I want to hear just a riot, this song on. Spice sing how many songs? Boy, Spice are going good, you know. Spice song becomes a number one song. Sure, that song the whole, them just a catch up to that song there. But then on the other hand now, the song them that you guys consider all is the song them that becomes a number one song later. You understand? We only small minded around our own reggae people. Eh? But there's work that needs to be done within our reggae artists. There's more hard work need to be done. The, 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 the people in that produce the music, the kind of music that's going to... Some of people sing songs because what they feel at the moment. Not what the market need. Not what should go there to become a number one song. Some people sing songs just to the buzz. Just for a moment. Can it make it on a big stage? When it comes to the Grammy and all the music, them all the albums have been selected, they listen to them very keenly. Not because an artist is a big reggae artist mean that his album is going to get a Grammy. It doesn't mean that. And it doesn't have nothing to do with, 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 with black or white. That's just the way the music industry is. That's just, that's just the way it is. And of course, everybody's going to create a buzz right now and everybody upset and then don't do the Grammy. But now watch your Grammy again. The Grammy racist, them sabotage the Jamaican artists. Our Jamaican artists also need to put in more quality work. They need to pay close attention. Watch how the white boys them do it. Look at the kind of music them that the white boy them sing that becomes what it is. Hmm. But that song they sound like garbage to you. But the outer world that listen to music that make all the decision, it is not garbage to them. It is garbage to us. Because we only structure our mind around certain kind of music. But what I would say to a lot of you artists, upcoming artists, artists that are already boss already, start to pay close attention to the different race that are capitalizing off of music and have the number one songs. Try and say if you can work with them because they will work with you. But because a lot of artists are selfish. Because a lot of artists are just for themselves. Well, me no one gonna sing a song with a white boy because if me sing a song with a white boy, nobody not gonna like it. You stupid. The market that they covered, they will get you in the market. They unite with their people to get ready to. There's no unity within reggae music. There's no unity. It's just like the other day I saw a video with Beatman was talking about R.I.P. and Boom Boom. But Beatman becomes the first person. Don't he's a Grammy artist too? 
he becomes the first person to burn out the young generation because the young generation decides say, Lee what happened? Me give the dinosaur them a chance, you know. And the fact that me give the dinosaurs, when the dinosaurs get a chance, we have to give the young youth a chance. Be the man that go in a dance and say, yo, when I give the young youth, they might be like, oh. be the man is a dinosaur and still defending and still want to maintain a slap with the music. And don't understand that you are at a grandfather level now. Anything you never make, then you're not going to make it again. But like I said, when it comes around to the Grammy and all of that, even like the Arama, how much people support the Arama when they give up the award them? Nobody not support it. Very few people support it. First of all, we downgrade our own things and we keep it in our community. Why me not go at that, yeah, man? That's a garbage. But everybody sit down and watch the Grammy. Why? Because there's somebody that's doing the Grammy. It's not Jamaican doing the Grammy. It's not in our community doing the Grammy. If you as an artist depend on reggae music to survive, reggae music is not selling. It's not selling. Because you guys is not buying your own reggae artist. When you can go up on YouTube, go download it, and your friend can send it, or you can bootleg and whatever. Reggae music not selling. When it comes to the white people who are doing reggae music, it is selling like rice grain. And a lot of you people spend more money on different um, nationalities that are not Jamaican and buy the music that you buy your own reggae artist music. If you're supposed to do a poll and say, how much people buy reggae last year? I guarantee you that if it's 200 people, uh, 180 people that are not Jamaican, white people purchase reggae music, the next 20% are we, our own blacks. And God bless those few. Reggae is not selling. There you have it. White Yardy and Tony Matter and Vice their frustration and Dr. Love come in and give you a different side to the thing. Make me know what you think, you know, agree or disagree, don't forget to leave a comment. And remember to give this video a like and remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram. See ya! I am the man I am today. Cause of the sacrifices you've made Oh mommy, all that I can say Is that I'm grateful that I love you More than words can convey You didn't leave me or forsake me You saw me as your own, your firstborn, your baby Oh, mommy, all that I can say Is that I'm grateful that I love you more than words can explain Oh, my superwoman, yeah